update. Well, last week we introduced you to the Ward County Sheriff's Department's newest deputy, Baxi. And the canine has been working hard during his first week on the job. Carissa Stinchcomb joins us live from the Minot studio to share what it's like sniffing out crime. Carissa? Hi, Carissa. Nicholas and Lauren, Baxi isn't only super cute, but he's got quite the nose on him. I caught up with his handler, Deputy Michael Miller, to find out what a day in the life of this canine is like. Any amount of drugs off the street is, is a huge win for this community. It's only been a week, but Deputy Michael Miller and Deputy Baxi have already made progress in cleaning up the streets. Their first night on the job was a little slow, but that didn't last long. On day two, Baxi made his first bust. I can't tell you how excited I was. I picked him up, I carried him back to the car. I usually walk him, he's, he's not a big dog, but uh, he was light as air at that point. Miller says adjusting to having Baxi by his side on, has been pretty up, easy. Everyday patrol is just kind of the same old thing. I mean, we're, we're still going to the same calls, we're still making the same traffic stops, um, but having a, a trained canine is, is definitely awesome. But he's trained to do more than just sniff out drugs. Try to make it safer community. That's Ward County Sheriff Bob Root. Working the highways and you know keeping keeping the community safe, keeping the schools safe, and keeping drugs out of the jail. He's also trained in tracking. He can help out if looking for a suspect or even a lost child. Deputy Miller says getting Baxi up to snuff has taken a lot of work. Good boys, good suke. But he's getting better, faster, and stronger with every call. Just watching him progress from day one to where we're at today is. It's been a, it's, I, I honestly can't even express how, how awesome it's been. Now, Miller has more than just a new partner. He's absolutely my best friend. Uh, it's, the bond has only gotten stronger since we've got back. Um, he wasn't super thrilled not to be the entire, my entire world. Once we got back, he kind of found out that I had a family and there's a little bit more to me than just him. By the way, these tennis balls that you see under the lights aren't just for playing fetch. They actually so serve an important purpose. If Deputy Miller is injured, Baxi is trained to stay by him and not let anyone near him. So when another officer arrives, they know to throw the balls to distract Baxi so that they can administer aid. Wow, and a bust on day two. What a trooper. You also had lunch with the department, right? Yes, yeah, so Becky and I brought them lunch to thank them for all of their hard work. Um, but unfortunately, some of them were pretty camera shy. Um, we talked about the upcoming holiday weekend and how busy they've been and will be responding to calls. So thank you to Ward County Sheriff's Department for all that you do. Absolutely. Nicholas and Lauren, back to you. Chris Tinchcomb joining us from Minot. Chris, thank you very much. And stay tuned. It's still to come.